Oh wait, you thought this section was dead? I haven't posted anything on news for a while, and it's because I usually have the same opinion as everyone else. Most of the time, or I don't think my opinion is substantial enough to really talk about. But today, I need to voice my opinion. So, my number nine, it finally came out! Hooray! And no one likes it, apparently. Because everyone's... Apparently is disappointed where the hype train ended on the train station. Big surprise. Man, these people are stupid. <laughs> I played it. Don't worry, I've pl I played it. I have a negative. Don't have a naked opinion about this. But yes, everyone's not really impressed by it at all. They just ball play it. They see, see, they think it's a PS2 game of some sort by comparison. And immediately throw it down the shitter. What really gets to me is all the other review companies get on this beatdown. Now, what really ruffles my feathers on this subject is remember, KG Minifune, the guy, the, the brainchild behind this, and many other beloved games from many of our childhoods, went out of his, well, stuck his neck out to do this. He left Capcom, a company he's been with for 23 years, being their game director. Across many, many titles, even some of the big ones. Not just Mega Man, he also did the only Musha series, and he even did some of the Resident Evils. That's quite the resume. And he asked, both, both time and patience, for the public, as well as the Kickstarter money which he, they, everyone provided because Capcom was no longer making Mega Man games. So Keiji promised to make us something close. He never said it was going to be a Mega Man game, it's what everyone seems to think this is. It's not a Mega Man game, clearly, it's not on there. It's from the maker of Mega Man, it's made in the similar style of Mega Man, but it's not. And people seem to find this is an adequate reason to throw something down the shitter. I can guarantee to you, at this point in time, all those like, executives at Capcom are looking at the headlines and probably having a good old effing laugh for about now. And in the future, they refuse to even move a cave on certain properties, believing that their view is the correct one. I'm surprised they're even going out with Resident Evil 7 Biohazard in the way they are. But maybe they're realizing that simply rehashing the same shit over and over and over again is not really making a profit. Where Keiji Mifuni pleaded that they do make a new Mega Man game or something along the lines. And that's the sole, probably one of the sole reasons why he left. That and probably other small things behind the scenes that I do not know about or the public. But yes. In terms of that, I just don't like the idea of like, what was everyone expecting in all this? They saw the screenshots all the way through. The screenshots and what we see now, they're the same. So what was the big everyone's what's everyone's big deal is what I gotta wonder on this. But will this now chase away so many other various about game directors from doing the same thing, knowing that they'll only be if they don't promise to apparently deliver on something that's triple A, which KG Mifuni only has a new team, and not the triple A budget. <laughs> apparently it's not a game worth everyone's attention, apparently. It's just wrong, is what I have to think about on the subject. It's just wrong on so many levels. And, then, sure, people have their own opinions. But what really gets to me is those damn review companies. Every small review group just get on the bandwagon, apparently taking turns beating on the dead horse that is money number nine. That's apparently to today's game. Effing annoying. But, there's little I could do about it. Aside from voicing my opinion here, I thank you for listening. This is ST signing out.